Hello, this is Math Jazz from Almost Cool, and I'm here with a mathematician. Hello. Did you shoot me with something just a moment ago? Um, I heard something hit something. You threw a snowball at me, didn't you? No, I shot you point blank with an arrow. <laughs> okay. But you're fine, right? Uh, I have like a half a heart left. Really? I no, had no I'm... idea it was that powerful. It it wasn't. I I I, I only lost I think oh. a half a heart. I just I wanted to scare you a little bit. I yeah, I, that made me feel sad. <laughs> well, it should. You shouldn't shoot your friend. That's true. And then tell them about it. You should at least keep it a secret for a while. I'm just not very good at this duplicitous stuff. Oh. So you say, unless really you're just incredibly good at it. And you no. know that there's. You're sometimes... absolutely right. I'm totally just faking you out right now. Yep. I knew it. Okay. Don't believe him, YouTube. He's a mathematician, and you can't trust him. Is it St. Augustine or St. Assisi that said, beware you know, of mathematicians? I was going to ask you, actually, that same question. Famous Catholic saint said, beware of mathematicians, for there is evidence that they have already sold their soul. Or something to that effect. And he probably said it in Latin. Makes it sound cooler and more legit, right? I mean, that's why we have all of our, um, like, legal sayings in Latin. I'm being productive, Nick. Okay. Or the math magician. I'm throwing all of the snowballs off the building. Oh. Okay, I'm done with that. Okay. The the snow bugs you a lot. I know. Okay, maybe I'm not quite done. Well, I'm almost done hanging the the difficult to hang jungle slabs. I just, like, you know, I don't think I would be as opposed to snow on buildings if I, you know, had stayed my whole life in Southern California where I didn't have to deal with any snow. <laughs> but now that I've lived here and I've lived, man, 10 years, I've lived in snow and, like, it's just terrible when people don't, you know, don't sweep their their snow or shovel their snow off the driveways, and it makes it so dangerous and <laughs> slipping and dying on snow and ice is terrible. <laughs> but you you came back. You you got better. I didn't say I died from the snow. I just oh. said that snow, like, irresponsible snow is bad. <laughs> yes, everyone, make sure to train your snow to, have, to be more responsible. Absolutely. Oh, oh wait. Hmm? Messed up. There we go. I 
I'm out of red wool. Oh, wow. Oh, I should have picked up some of the nether fence while I was down. Oh, sorry. And I don't have any on me. Happen to have a bunch of snowballs. Oh. And whatever might those have come. You don't know where those came from? No, I know I know where those came from. Hey, how do you like this first uh, lower roof so far? You come to the south end, it is done. You have a chance. I'm going to uh, finish placing these blocks. Yeah, that's and fine. I'll be right down. And I need to pick up some iron bars at some point. You might be able to see it from where you're at, by the way. There we go. Now, where should I look? Um, that side where you're at is actually done, I think. Um, okay, I think you said that when I was over here. Yep, that side's been done. Oh. I like it. I'm glad. Did, did we... Are we supposed to put carpet on these? Is that what we decided? Um, I don't know, were we? Hmm. These were supposed to be full plank blocks, not slabs. Um, that's what I have in my blueprint. I don't know if that was one of those things that we had said. Oh, you know, what? let's change that. Would you rather them be slabs? I don't know. Come to the opposite end of where you are, and I will make them look like slabs on this side, and you can tell me what you like. I hate the snow. <laughs> well, I will make sure not to make them snow. Okay, here's that corner. Hmm. And now it's the other side as well. Nice and even. I think it looks better as a full block. Thank you for indulging me. No yeah. worries. With the torch on it? Um, probably. We're gonna figure since we're gonna eventually end up fighting and stuff anyway, right? Yeah. This is now not possible to jump up. Um, if you do a run jump. Oh, really? Yeah, from this. Well, if you come from the southmost side, you can just jump right up. Yeah, if you're standing at the top of the stairs, like the. Put all this glass away. Oh, um, you uh, oh. people out in YouTube land might have noticed that we have, um, we swapped some of the colored glass. Um, the math magician persuaded me to take a look at some other glass off camera, and we decided that the cyan glass in these spots looked better than whatever we had before. I think it was yellow. Yeah, yeah, it was yellow. And then 
I think we used green glass here instead of um, also yellow, I think. Lime. Oh, instead of lime glass. So, if you had a good eye and noticed those differences, um, you know, congratulations on having a good eye. <laughs> if you had a bad eye and noticed those differences, congratulations, congratulations. on improving your bad eye. Um, wait. What's wrong? Oh, we're fine. So, I understand now what you mean by you can't get up anymore. You mean you can't get from the roof to the orange layer. But I put a ladder at the south end. Oh, you did? Okay. Yes. Okay, so we need, these are iron blocks, and we decided to replace those with concrete blocks, right? Yes. Okay. And we need iron bars and another fence. I'll mm -hmm. go get those. Okay, and is, check the green shulker, because I thought I put stuff in there for it, but... You know what makes me really happy? What? When I place torches in places so that they like are nice and symmetric, and then it turns out that that perfectly lights the area. That is great. I'm going to check the shoulder boxes now because I couldn't find... The, the green one in the middle but didn't have it? Nether fence and iron bars. Not very many of the nether fence. It should only have 16. I see 36 nether fence. Oh, it should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's weird. It should only have 16, I thought. So if you've got more, that's good. But... Okay. And then we need our iron bars. Yeah. Oh, these iron bars do not connect to the wool. They do not, but when you will put, you'll put um carpet on top of them. And that'll fix it. And well, it won't fix it, fix it, but you won't really notice the iron bar so much. And that's the only reason that it's really there is to you have know, the carpet hanging. Okay, I'm done with the iron bars. Okay. I'm coming up with carpet. I don't have much concrete powder left. Is there a place where I can get more? Uh, I think you were the one that made all the concrete powder. No, I definitely did not make it. Oh, did I make it? I think so. You you handed me concrete powder. Oh, ah, okay. I didn't remember that. Uh, I have no idea where it would be if there's any. Check the chests in the center of the build first, because that's probably where I'd put it if I had any. Um, but there's a good chance that I just gave you all I had. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, so how do we make concrete powder? You need or sand, or gravel, and um, a die, a bone meal, yeah. Well, yeah, any die in general, but 
Well, this at least gives a use for, uh, um, what's it called? Gravel? Gravel, yeah. yeah. Gravel and clay, uh, gravel and sand, you said. Yeah. And unfortunately, you have to be regular sand. Okay. There's gravel. And here's sand. So there wasn't any in the center? No concrete powder in the center. Okay. Also, no sand in the sand chest. Oh, that's why I only made what I did. Because we were all on the sand. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to sort myself out. Um, let's see. Colored wool. Hmm. Where does the colored wool go? Um, we no longer have a wool chest over there. Oh, I because it's all up here. here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to grab some food, and I'm going to go mining for sand. Yeah. Where's our food? Um, to the left. Underneath the seat. I see it. Thank you. You're welcome. I was in just the right spot to be able to creepily observe you from up in the sky. So we have a football game tomorrow. And as a tuba player in the marching band, that means that I get to play the tuba at the football game. That's how it cool. works, you know. I'm excited. I mean, I'm glad they don't make you play like the trombone. Yeah, me too. Slides are weird. I mean, they're kind of fun, but I'm not good at it. Okay. So, time to go mine sand. Anyway, so, I'm excited because this is going to be our... Gosh, I'm taking tons of damage. Why? Lots of mobs. Oh. Now they're shooting each other, though, so we're okay. And it's going to be daylight soon. But yeah, so uh, before the football game, all of the tuba players are going to get together and have French toast. So I'm excited for that, too. You know, I just realized the good thing that there's a slight offset on the, uh, the day that we build versus the day that this gets on YouTube. Because otherwise, a person could reverse engineer what school we went to. Oh, I think that they can figure it out from what we said. <laughs> but oh, we no, should make we them enough. work to dox us, you know? Yeah. Didn't bring enough glass paint. It's okay, thing. I am mining a bunch of sand. I love this shovel. I think the problem is just that when I put stuff in the green shulker box originally, um, I think I was following one set of, a set of uh, blueprints, so I didn't put quite enough glass paint in there. All better.
Oh no. Oh, so, uh, anyway, they're retiring some former player jerseys at the game tomorrow. Oh. And so the band is going to be playing um, John Williams' 1984 Olympic fanfare. And that is such a fun piece. Okay. I mean, we're only playing, like, the, the short clip out of it, but it's still, like... It's it's just a dream for a brass player to play. It's so cool. Glad you're saying. You think our team will win? Um, you know, I do not know how good the other team is. Um. I I wish that I could say, like, I knew more about football teams, but the only team that I actually care about is my schools. And so I don't take the time to learn about the, the other schools' teams. Uh. But I thought we were going to get creamed last week. Um, but we only lost, you know, by a touchdown. Oh, but we lost like our arch rival, right? That's true. But we had the ball with two minutes left, and uh, had some really nice passes to receivers that dropped it like it was butter. It was terrible. Like, I mean. I understand that, you know, it's hard to always, you know, perform to what everyone expects of you, but, I mean, these guys' scholarships are given to them because they can catch footballs, and all they had to do was catch the football, and they couldn't catch, like, they were, they were nice throws, like, they're... The receiver was open. The throw was perfectly like right into their the the you know it, it's not like the the pass was leading them too much or or behind them or anything. It was it was like right there, exactly where it needed to be to be a great you know completion. Mm. And instead, they dropped it. Mm. I don't want to sound like, like I'm too hard on them. It'd be like it'd be like a mathematician who can't prove that if you have a number who squares itself that's neither zero nor one, it must be a member of every prime ideal. That's cold. That is cold. <laughs> so I'm just saying. Saying, but but the know. thing is, is that, like, that was an algebra problem. And uh -huh. I don't study algebra. They had a receiving problem. They study receiving. So what you should do is take one of the questions I couldn't answer on a topology exam. Ah, uh, yes. But I'd have to remember those, and I don't remember them. <laughs> Um, is it problematic for you if I put the red wool all around where the concrete blocks are going to go? Mm -hmm. If you just place water on them, right? Yeah. Okay. That is that is the easier way to do that. Just place the concrete block, the concrete powder, and then douse it with water. Okay. Oh, shoot. There is a lot of iron here. I'm going to pick up the iron while I'm here. Okay. Oh, it is also that time again. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. water drowning me. Oh, no, don't die. Oh, it's not actually drowning me. It's just obnoxious. Mm. 
But yeah, so uh, see you, YouTube land. Bye.